Hey everybody, welcome back to my porch. I'm Sister Becky and we are continuing our journey in the 100 days of Believing Bigger book. This morning our scripture reading comes from Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. It says this, For we are the product of his hand, heaven's poetry etched on lives, created in the anointed Jesus to accomplish the good works God arranged long ago. Our devotional author says, Purpose is why God needs you and how God made you. Calling is where God is sending you. So the true essence of purpose is more personality oriented, how God made you, whereas calling is more a path and place of assignment. You are the way you are for a reason. I know the little voice in your head keeps whispering that something is wrong with you, that you're too flawed, you're too quirky, you're broken, and in need of repair or more development. But that's simply not true. God is ready to use you and your personality right where you are right now. What you think of as a mess, God sees as a message and a, a miracle already in motion. There are things about your life, personality, presence, character, interests, insights, and abilities that are meant to make things work and flow properly and smoothly for others. Our purpose naturally, almost effortlessly flows from us. Purpose is not is natural, not forced. The way you think, show up, impact, perceive, desire, and serve is all strategic. Becoming who God made you isn't about discovering who you are. It's about becoming more aware of how you're naturally designed. It's time to harness the attributes that make you, you. And then embrace them as assets instead of liabilities. Man, we just keep going over this through this book about how God keeps reminding us that we were made with a specific purpose in mind. That the things that you've gone through, while they have sucked, some of them have really sucked, there's a reason. And it is because you are you. And you can reach people that other people cannot. I, When I was a kid, we had a pastor in the denomination I was at that time that I loved. And I gravitated towards his teaching. Why? Because he was honest about the mess that he had come through. A coke addict for years. And I appreciated the fact that he was honest with us even as a teenager. That he made a lot of mistakes. That he walked some really dark roads. But God brought him back. And now he uses the voice that he has with purpose to share the love of Jesus, to be that light, to share who he is because God brought him and called him to the place that he was in. The places that I serve, it's no mistake that I am here where I am at this point in my life because God called me here. This is my assignment right here in Western Kentucky. It's no mistake that I started doing these videos. I can't tell you how many I have heard from. And please comment. Let me know where you are. Let me know how much these mean to you because it fuels my fire to know that I am reaching you wherever you are and that these videos touch you and share something awesome about God with you. You have a voice. You have a purpose. You have gone through the things that you have gone through so that you can help others who are on that path see how amazing God truly is. Brothers and sisters, I love you. But more importantly, God loves you. Share that gospel message with everyone that you meet where you are today. Be blessed, my friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.